All right, so hello, this is Mrs. Robertson, and today is Monday, uh, February 14th, it's Valentine's Day, and we're going over how to do our bell work. And the first thing we did was we drew our net. And here is an example of our net over here. Two circles and a rectangle in between. Then we had to label the net. Well, the radius of each circle is 3.9, the height between the circles is 1.8, and the length of this is the circumference of a circle, which is pi times diameter. So pi times 7.8, because our diameter, if the radius is 3 and 9 tenths, the diameter is 7 and 8 tenths. Then we started doing our surface area formula. What are we adding together to get the surface area? Two circles and a rectangle. 2 pi r squared plus pi d times h. Pi d is the length, h is the width. So we did our substitutions, and now we are down to adding these two numbers together. Now, if you rounded the answer to the nearest tenth, you probably have 95.5 plus 44.1. And then when you add those together, 4 and 5 is 9, 4 and 9 is 13. You should have 139.6 centimeters squared. Surface area is squared. Whenever you are doing something with area, it is squared. So let's go over how many points. Did you draw a net? One point. Did you label it correctly? Another point. Did you put in your surface area formulas? Did you do your substitutions? Did you show work? Do you have an answer with a label? Okay. Any questions before we start doing volume? Yes? Like the radius squared, do you want us to round that? Because it's like no. 3.9 times 3.9 actually equals 15.21. What did you get? I got, I got, instead of 95.456, I got 95.5188. Okay, but if you round it to the tenths, we'll still get 95.5, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, if, depending on the test, it's usually a little more exact about rounding and things. So usually it's pretty close. And I know that sometimes kids will have a different answer depending on when they round their answers. So I, I usually do understand you might not have 139.6, but it's going to be like 139.58 or point something. It'll end up being very close to that. Yes, another question. I use a yes. Okay, any other questions on surface area besides when to round? Everyone thumbs up? Okay, those of you who are not here, do you understand how to, what we were doing? Yes. Okay, now we're going to go to volume. Now, on volume, the formula is big B times the height. Well, big B represents the shape of the base. What's the shape of the base in the cylinder? It's a circle, right? So the volume for a cylinder is pi r squared, that's the area of a circle, times the height. Any questions on that? Does everyone have that written down? So pi r squared is the circle, that's the shape of the base, times the height. All right? So everyone knows a cylinder, we all know the shape is a circle. So now let's do the substitutions. Volume equals 3.14. We already know what our radius squared is. 3.9 times 3.9 is 15.2 times the height, which is 1.8. Okay, any questions? So now, let's just, on this one there's not a whole lot of work. Sometimes they combine things. Oh, for the radius squared, if I didn't have it here, I would have 3.9 squared, and then I would have written this down over there. Um, but since I had it written down, I didn't take the time to write it again. So, in the calculator, 3 and 14 hundredths 
times 15 and 2 tenths times 1.8, 85 0.9104. So when I round it to the nearest tenths for my final answer, it's going to be 85 and 9 tenths centimeters what? Cubed. Volume is three dimensional. It is a cube. Any questions on this? Yes. Well, okay, all right. Now, I there the the directions here didn't say to round to anything, so I could see where you would have an 86. If it says round to the tenths, though, on the test, be very careful. Um, tomorrow, whenever we do this for a grade, I'll be more specific. All right, about what to round it to. So make sure on this one. This was our practice. Yes. I don't understand. Um, the net, what they do is they all ask you to fill in pieces of a net on an iLearn test or on a uh, clear sight test and those types of things. So you have to know how to do the, the net and know the parts of it. What? The net, because in a lot of things when you take things apart and you do scale drawings of stuff, you have to be able to interpret that, okay? And sometimes they have nets of a lot of different shapes and you have to identify which net goes with which shape. That also is a big deal on IQ tests. And IQ tests are just pictures and shapes and, and seeing their relationship. So there are a lot of things that this is important for, okay? Um, all right. Now, if you did all of these things correctly, you would get 12 out of 12. All right? So at this point, all of you should have all of this done correctly. So put 12 out of 12. If you don't have it done, you'll need to watch the video and get this done because I'm going to check to make sure you have good notes, all right? Because I've noticed some of you don't know what to write down, and it's important that you write it down this way, okay? Are we ready to now do the uh, surface area and volume of a rectangular prism? This is a little bit easier. The net's a little harder to draw, but then the formula, you don't have circles in it. So let's draw a net. Would you close the door, please? Now, I like starting with the top. And if you have problems seeing the numbers to use, kids, trace it. This is the top. I'm going to start with my top. It is 4 by 7. Because I know this is the same as this. So I'm going to start with the top. This is 4. This is 7. Then I'm going to go to the front. Okay, I'm going to call this the front of my shape, and it is 3 by 7. All right, so this is 3 by 7. All right, then I have top, front, bottom is 4 by 7. And the back of the box is the same as the front. It's 3 by 7. All right. Now I have four sides. How many faces does this prism have? Six. six. So you got to make sure you give me six rectangles. Now I have my right side and my left side. This is going to be 4 by 3. I know this is 4 and this is 3. So I'm going to connect it to this side that's 3. So that means this side is 4 by 3. All right. Now, make sure you know that you put it on a 3. Sometimes kids will stick it on a 4 and then they get it all messed up. And it's like your box has to go back together. And I have to do my left side. 3, 4, 3, 4. All right. Did I draw a net? Yes. Did I label my net? Yes. Okay, any questions? That's a four. 
Everyone know how to draw your net? Yes. Um, you mean, oh, for the um, cylinder? Yeah. Um, area of the base Where's times the height. So it's circle times the height. Pi r squared times the distance between the circles. Yes? Um, not every side. Like, I didn't label this one. But you should have this one, this one, this one, a couple of these. Like, I wouldn't have had to put a 4 there because I know that one's a 4. Okay? I like for the kids to put one here and here to make sure they match. All right? That's always a good thing. Because if you put a 4 here and there's a 3 there, I'd have to count it wrong. Yes? Let's wait till we're done with this. All right, any questions on the net for a rectangular prism? Now we're going to go to finding the surface area. Surface area means you find the area of each shape and then add them together. So we'd have here 28. 4 times 7 is 28. 3 times 7 is 21. 4 times 7 is 28. 3 times 7 is 21. 4 times 3 is 12, and you add them all together. That's what they expect you to do on the 6th grade standard. Now, there is a formula for the surface area, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But here you would have um, 28 plus 28 plus 21 and 21 12 and 12. Now this could also be the work if you showed it this direction. 16, 17, 18, 20 plus 2 is 22. Carry a 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So you end up with the surface area of 122 meters squared. It is surface area. Okay? Now, for the formula for surface area, 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times height times width. We really didn't talk about this formula. It was in your book. I just want you to write it down. Um, but I haven't really emphasized that because on your 6th grade clear sight test, which you'll take I think next week, um, they won't ask you for the formula. They'll want you to do it using a net. All right? The formula, I think, is really easier than the net. Our work, we have it here, and we ended up with 122 meters squared. So, surface area, did we do a formula? Did we do a substitution? Um, in this one, we're going to put that together. We have an answer with the correct label. Any questions on that? Now, the formula for the volume. Volume for a rectangular prism is length times width times height. So we have 7 times 3 times 4. Or 7 times 4 times 3. That will give you the same thing. And... Um, you get 84. Now this is 84 meters what? Cubed because it is volume. Any questions on this? And that's another 12 out of 12. All right. Now, tomorrow we're going to take another one of these and it will be collected for a grade. I probably will give you one where it's a diameter instead of a radius for the circle. Um, that type of thing. Any questions? Yes. In a little bit, okay? So, besides finishing the packet, you can choose, you have, everyone has to do the Rice Krispie Treat where you find the surface area and the volume. The length, only TH, is 65 millimeters. Width is 40 millimeters. The height is 20 millimeters. The sour punch cylinder, find the surface area and volume a bit. The length, 174 millimeters. The diameter, 6 millimeters. And the optional bonus is a large, I think it's called extra large Hershey's. 
and the length is 178 millimeters, the width is 80 millimeters, and the height is 6 millimeters. Have a good day.